G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of a Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And by request, today I'll be teaching you Northern Downpour by Panic at the Disco. Now this is a fairly easy song to play and it sounds really beautiful. Now in this video I'm going to teach you two different ways of playing this song. The first way will involve a capo and it'll be easier to play. However, it's not exactly how Brendan Urie plays it. The second way I'll teach you will have no capo, but there'll be more bar chords involved. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So I'm going to start with the easy version, and for the intro, we just have two chords. We have C and an F. Now, the strumming pattern we're going to use is really nice and simple. It's just going to be eight down strums followed by an up strum. Down, 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 up. And with the timing count, it'll be a full bar's length or four beats. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and... Now you're going to play that strumming pattern once for each chord and the intro will just sound like this. Now we get to the verse, and the verse is really easy. There's three lines of chords. For our first line of chords, it's the C to the F, and we're going to repeat that twice. For our second line of chords, we go F, A minor, C. Now you'll notice that the F and the A minor are within one set of brackets. Now that will just mean that the F and the A minor are within one strumming pattern. So the point at which you're going to change from the F to the A minor will be on the fifth down strum of that strumming pattern or the third beat. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Notice how that last C is just played for one full strumming pattern because it's within its own set of brackets. Then for our third line of chords, we have C and A minor. And again, both those chords are within one strumming pattern and then we end with an F. So the full verse will sound like this. Now we get to the pre-chorus, which is just two lines of chords. We have an E minor, another E minor, then we have G and A minor. And then for our second line of chords, we have E minor, G, and then C, and C again. Now for this pre-chorus, we're changing our strumming pattern a little bit. So our strumming pattern will just be down, 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 up or one and two and. Now we're gonna play each of the chords up in the annotations for one strumming pattern. So the pre-chorus will just sound like this. Now we get to the chorus and it's really nice and easy. It's just a four chord chord progression. We have C, we have F, we have A minor, and then we go to a D minor. Now we're going to revert back to our original strumming pattern that we had in the verse, which is just down, 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 up. And you're going to play that once for each of the chords. There's one exception though, and it's the D minor. And it's just going to be strummed four times, but to the same rhythm that Brendan Urie sings. So it's going to be one and only. So two long strums and two short ones. One and only. So altogether, the chorus will sound like this. Finally, we get to the outro, which is basically the same as the chorus, 
except for this D minor chord, we're just going to continue on with our normal strumming pattern, which will sound like this. And we just repeat that chord progression till the song fades out. So that's everything for the easy version. Now I'm going to teach you how to play it without a capo. So without a capo, the strumming patterns are going to be exactly the same. So we're going to have eight down strums followed by an up strum for our main verse in intro. So one and two and three and four and... For our intro, we have two chords. We have an F and we have a B flat. Now these are sixth string major bar chords. So F and then B flat. And we're just gonna slide that exact same shape up to the sixth fret, basically. So the intro will sound like this. Now we get to the verse, and the verse has three lines of chords. We have F, then we go our B flat bar chord. We're gonna repeat that through twice. And then for our second line of chords, we have B flat. Then we go to a D minor bar chord. And it's essentially the same shape as our major bar chords that we've been playing previously. But on the fifth string, we have a D minor. And then we go back to an F. Now the B flat and the D minor are within one set of brackets, which means they're within one strumming pattern. So it goes like this. One and two and three and four. And the third line of chords is F, then we go back to D minor, and then we go to our B flat. Again, the F to the D minor is within one set of brackets, so that means that they're both within one strumming pattern. Altogether, the verse will sound like this. Next we get to our pre-chorus, which is two lines of chords. We have A minor, A minor again, then C, and we'll play our normal open D minor. For our second line of chords, we have A minor, C, then F, and F again. Now the strumming pattern changes for the pre-chorus like it did in the simple version. It's shortened, so it's down, 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 up. And you're gonna play that once for each chord in the annotations. So the pre-chorus will just sound like this. Down, 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 Now finally we get to the chorus and it's just four chord shapes we need to learn. So we start with our F major, then we're going to go to our B flat, then we'll go to D minor, and we'll end on G minor. So those are our four chord shapes and we're going to revert back to the original strumming pattern, which is down, 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 down. You're going to play that once for each of the chords, except for the last G minor which is played to the rhythm of Brendan Urie's vocal, which is So two long down strums and two short down strums. So the chorus in total will sound like this. Now for the outro, it's exactly the same as the chorus chords, except for this G minor. We're not gonna do that special strumming pattern. We're just gonna play our generic strumming pattern on the G minor. And you keep repeating that chord progression till the song fades out. So now I'll be doing two playthroughs of this song. The first one will be the easy version, and then the second one will be the harder bar chord version. I'm gonna have a vocal track on top of these as well for some context. 
So feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to Guitar Zero to Hero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. It'd mean so much if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and click that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any updates. Leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.